Hi there, this is Penny Manus Diefendorf with your Daily Grain. So today let's think about what is truly private and what is truly public. From my point of view, everything about you, everything that is personal, so if you consider the five rings of consciousness, your material and physical information, your emotional information, your psychological and spiritual information is probably all 99% of it private. Things in the mental realm like maybe qualifications, what you can do, your skills, etc. Well, yes, that's possibly public because you are interacting with the world um, more or less at that level in a lot of ways. But pretty much the rest of your life is your personal business. What you do, how you do it, what you think about, what you feel, these are highly personal to you and for you. What elements of those you choose to share, obviously, is your call. But do you have to? These are the things that make up the essence of you. And do you have to? A, a, a big reason why a lot of us do feel we have to is because we are told that we should, that it gives us the appearance of um, honest people or vulnerable people and it may make people like us more, etc, etc. For whatever reason you buy into this whole sharing of private personal information, it's something to consider. Is that reason valid? Are you comfortable with sharing the information you share for whatever reason, be it social acceptance, be it keeping up with the trends and so on and so forth, the multitude of reasons people have. Have you actually even considered this for the information that you put out there? What are you comfortable with? What would you prefer to keep private which is currently public. And how would you like to change that ratio of sharing? <laughs>